Okay, guys, I've talked about this scene before. Uh, this is the face of Draco coming out of the head of this supposed to be Jesus figure. Now, uh, he has dollar bill insignia on his face. Uh, that looks like what's on the one dollar bill for sure, that pyramid, right? But on his chin strap, he has the word five. And the face on the $5 bill is Abraham Lincoln. And you can see Egghead mouth the word Abraham as Draco is going in to devour the child. So Egghead mouths the word Abraham. And it is the face of Abraham Lincoln, in a sense, because it is a $5 bill with a face. And it somewhat looks like his face in a way, right? So I, I thought that was interesting. Egghead looks like he is sad, as if he is mourning Abraham, right? Now, I think it has a, a at least potentially a dual meaning here. Uh, where they're trying to reference the events of Genesis 22, where Abraham was told to uh, slay his son, Isaac. And, and, you know, of course, God stopped that. Um, and a lot of people misunderstand those events as well. Uh, this was representative of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, who would be crucified on the exact same mountain, Mount Moriah. Uh, when when Jesus died, and Jesus being the seed of Abraham, that was representing the death of Christ and the resurrection. It talks about how in Hebrews 11 that Abraham received him from the dead in a figure. Isaac was to be sacrificed, and Abraham, it was a testing of his faith because God already told Abraham that his descendants would come through Isaac. And so it was a, a, a testing of his faith. Does, does he believe that God is going to carry out his promise regardless, as long as he is obedient to God? And in order for God to do that, he was going to have to raise up Isaac from the dead. So he just believed that God was going to raise him from the dead. He told the uh, his servants that came with him, we're going to go up and worship and we will come back down to you. So he knew God was going to raise him from the dead. So it was a representation of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And and it's amazing. It's a, it was prophetic because after it happened, uh, it was said even in the Bible, in, in Genesis 22, it says it, it's still said to that day that in the mountain of the Lord it shall be seen. What shall be seen? This event where there is a death and resurrection in order for God to fulfill his promises. That's what it typified. It was a type. And so, as I said, Jesus was crucified, the same mountain. So that was not about, you know, just sacrifice a kid and God wants to, he didn't allow that to happen. He talks about in Jeremiah 19, he was not, he sacrificing kids never entered his mind. He never wanted that to go through. Uh, but it was a testing of his faith. So this event, right, where Egghead looks like he is mourning Abraham could be reflective of they're trying to say that the father of the child is sacrificing the child, uh, and they probably will put some type of spin on that, that it's a, you know, this is a, a, a certain level of the evolution of this transcendent being in the figure of Draco and in the figure of the Antichrist and in the figure of the historic Jesus. And they may try to say they're all the same figure. Okay. But I'm not, I don't want to get all into their doctrinal things, right? What I wanted to point out to you is how he mouths the word Abraham, how the face ties into Abraham because it's a $5 bill face and how I've been saying that it looks like OK, according to my analysis of this video, it looks like they could be pronouncing that this royal baby has died on April the 14th. Now, will there be a dead kid? 
I hope not. I don't know. Right. A lot of their story is just a lie. Meghan Markle wasn't even pregnant. But check this out. He's, he looks like he's mourning. He says Abraham. It shows the face of Abraham Lincoln, if you will, in correspondence to the five dollar bill. And look at the date that Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. OK, this is just the Wikipedia of Abraham Lincoln. Now watch this. Right here. Lincoln managed his own re-election campaign. He sought to heal the war-torn nation through reconciliation. On April 14th, the, the date I've been talking about, 1865, just days after the war's end at Appomattox, he was attending a play at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. with his wife, Mary, when he was fatally shot by Confederate sympathizers, blah, blah, blah. Okay. April the 14th is when Abraham Lincoln was shot. Right. And it looks like he is sad here over some type of story that involves Abraham, over some event that involves Abraham. Right. He says Abraham. Now, could that be reflective of the day that Abraham Lincoln was shot? It does reference Abraham Lincoln. He does look like he is sad over an event and he mouths the word Abraham. And it ties in with the day that I've been talking about, April 14th, right? So I think it potentially could mean that. And I just I thought enough of it to convey it in video form.